So, first of all, welcome to the Negotiation Club for the very first pilot episode, I guess, of the, uh, the negotiation reviewing activities. So, just as a kind of an overview, what we're going to be doing is Danishka and Alea, they're going to have a negotiation that lasts for about five minutes. And then myself and Fred are going to give a little bit of a, a review and a bit of feedback and then maybe just highlight some important points which might be of useful. Now we're going to get into this. So for the audience particularly, okay, Tanishka and Alia, you're going to have a card which has a break-even point or a budget. So for a seller, you get your break-even point. Your objective obviously is to negotiate and see if you can agree a satisfactory price above the break-even point. And Alia, you're going to have a budget, okay, and your goal is to agree a final satisfactory price below that. Now, guess what we're going to be negotiating for? Apples. <laughs> apples. Yes. So we are going to be agreeing for the price per ton of apples. Now then, if we are going to practice our negotiation skills, the best thing to do is to practice with purpose. So it's only a five minute negotiation. So Tanishka and Leah, what I'm also going to ask you to do is select top, middle or bottom, because when I show you the card, you'll have a tactic to use. OK, so what I'd like you to do is see if you can use that tactic or be aware of that tactic in the negotiation, okay? All right. So I have the buyer's card, all right? So this is what's going to happen. So Tanishka, if you look away, I am going to show Aaliyah the card. And Fred, you say top, middle, or bottom to determine what negotiation tactic Aaliyah's going to try, okay? All right. So here we go. All right. Top, middle, or bottom. But well, you can say it. <laughs> bottom. The bottom. Perfect. All right. Have you written it down as well, Fred? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. You can look back now, Tanishka. All right. So, Aaliyah, you look away. Same thing. All right. So, Fred, you're going to have to choose the top, middle, and bottom on here. So. Not middle or bottom. Middle. Middle. Okay. Middle has been selected. Right. Leah, you can look back now. So we have two negotiation positions. We have a couple of tactics to use, and we're going to have five minutes to see if you can negotiate a satisfactory outcome. All right while trying to incorporate your tactics, okay? So we're practicing with purpose here. At the end of it, Fred and I will try and give you some feedback. Um, uh, hopefully it'll be useful. Agreed, Fred? Oh, yeah. good. Brilliant, okay. So let me just put the timer on. Right, so, Tanishka, Aaliyah, you have five minutes to negotiate, all right? Um, see if you can find a satisfactory outcome. And your time starts now. Good evening, Tanishka. How are you? Good evening, Ilya. I'm good. How are you? Not too bad, thank you. I'm currently shopping around for apples, so I'd just like to see how much you're selling per ton, please. That is brilliant. I think you, you have been here. Like uh, This is the best place to be for apples at the moment because... Uh, let me tell you a bit about our apples. So we sell organic apples. Uh, they are specially handpicked from our own farms. And uh, we have a great environmental sense. So we have all the eco-friendly packages and we don't really leave a carbon print behind. And our aim is to continue to give back to the community. So if I may ask, what type of apples are you looking for? Um, so if I just tell you uh, a little bit about me quickly, um, since the lockdown began, I've actually started uh, baking. So I'm mostly looking for cooking apples. Um, I bake like apple pies, apple crumbles, um, and the business has actually been really successful. So I'm hoping to continue this after lockdown. So mostly cooking apples. That is brilliant. So with what, what type, again, like, would you like pink lady? Would you like green apples or golden apples? 
Um, usually green, so Bramley, Granny Smith, that kind of apple. Okay, okay, that is brilliant. So we've just got a fresh lot of uh, the apples which you like, and as I've told, they are fresh and organic, so you don't really have to worry about the taste. And we will assure you, you have the best uh, taste. And um, so we can give you a ton of apples for something around um, 700 pounds for a ton. 700 per ton. Does this include delivery charge? Yes, this does include delivery charge across the UK. And what is your delivery time period, please? So um, we could give you a delivery between five to seven days. Okay, so I was hoping um, more around £500 per tonne. Um, I am looking, as I said, to continue my business after lockdown, so I'm hoping to be a regular and loyal customer, hence why I'd like quite a good deal. Um, and originally, yeah, I was looking for about £500. How does that sit with you? Mm -hmm. 500 is a bit too low you know but uh what i could do for you is because you're looking for a continuous business i could do 580 pounds with delivery five to seven days but uh, only if you promise two consecutive orders of one ton two consecutive orders um so as in order almost double what I would need at once no just order twice so you will definitely place the next two orders of yours with us oh okay um I think I could agree to that so can I just clarify 580 pounds per ton and a, this includes the delivery charge, which will be between five and seven days, and is um, and I'd have to have two orders kind of placed at once. Yes. Is that correct? That is absolutely correct. Um, perfect. That works really well for me. Um, yeah. Are you? Sounds does, great. Good to you. Yeah. That sounds good. So, do we have a deal today? Uh, we do. <laughs> <laughs> great. Thank you. Thank you. Well done. <laughs> and you had time to spare as well. Yeah, we can. <laughs> I know, you know what? Every time I say to people four minutes, because four minutes is what I normally give. And they always say, oh, that's never long enough. That's never long enough. I give you an extra minute. And you know, you finish in three. What are you doing to me? You know? <laughs> you know what I mean? But an awful lot going on in there as well. So this, this is really going to be quite interesting in there as such, okay? I mean, before we just get into the details, I mean, Tanishka, how did you find that as a practice? I think it was brilliant. And uh, I mean, I haven't practiced negotiation for a while now because of exams, but uh, it, I think it was a good uh, refresher for my, myself as well. I was able to think of tactics and get all the four points structured that you thought last time. So it was, it was really nice, refreshing experience for me. Uh, good. Uh, Leah, what about yourself? How are you going with that? Um, I mean, I kind of realised halfway through, oh my god, I need to focus on that tactic. <laughs> but um, the actual agreement went well, so... <laughs> yeah, the agreement was 580 in the end, wasn't it? Yes, yes. Yeah, um, plus delivery, and you got exclusivity for at least two orders as well. Okay, all right, nicely done. Um, uh, Fred? Any immediate thoughts from you before we sort of go into the proper breakdown? Yeah, and I've got a question actually to both. So I'll start with Tanishka. How do you feel about that deal? I feel, particularly about that deal, I feel amazing. I'm, I am satisfied with that deal. Cool. So, same question. Aaliyah, how do you feel about the deal? Uh, yeah, I was happy when the first number was put forward. Um, I mean, it was not too hard for me to get a good deal from that. Um, so, yeah, I was happy. <laughs> kind of interesting that you say that as well. 
All right, so we'll have, we'll have a, a talk about what was going on there, but very, very interesting. I'm going to show you what you had on your cards. What was it? What was the tactic you were using, Tanishka, or the one you were trying to employ? I actually had the tactic of establish a range, but mm -hmm. because Alia did not, uh, was easy to move and she accepted everything easily. So I had no chance to establish a range because she accepted the first number I put down, almost accepted. <laughs> so yeah. Okay. All right. And that might be telling you something, Alia, as well, okay? Yeah. Um, and what, what was your tactic, Leah? What were you trying to incorporate? Mirroring words, which is my least favourite tactic. <laughs> but um, I tried. <laughs> well, I mean, look, I mean, those two tactics, very important in negotiation, all right? So establishing a range. A range is a great way of just setting expectations and actually getting an anchor down as well, all right? And normally, if you do put a range down, what I would often advise people to do is, have a range, but have conditions at each end. So if it was a price range and say you're doing 570 up to 700, you might have quality associated with that. So a lower quality for the low range, higher quality for the higher range. Um, uh, you might even have something linked to delivery quantity. So low quantity can be delivered quickly, higher quantities might take a bit longer. So again, you can have ranges for all sorts, but you wanna try and link it because it actually gives some credibility to it as well. The mirroring is another phenomenal way of garnering more information, all right? So the idea behind the mirroring words is that maybe ask a question, hear a response, and then pick up just the last couple of words and kind of repeat them back, almost in like a questioning type tone, and then going silent, because the idea then is like, oh, I'm interested in the last thing you just said, draws more information out, okay? So the mirroring is a, a form of information gathering, and the range is a form of setting expectations and anchoring as well. Uh, Fred, I don't know if there's anything else you might want to say about those particular things or? Just, just in those particular things where you were talking about by setting the range with those kind of conditions to it, it can be this price, but then we're doing these things and this with these things, as though you're very thoughtful. Make the numbers look thoughtful as well, to just add another layer into it. So it can be 717, if you pick up the delivery charges, if we're going to deliver it, it'll be 753. That just made it off the top of my head. But it looks as though there's some kind of magic calculation of fuel costs and all these things. And oh, OK, yeah. So just that's a very easy way to just add in another little bit of thoughtfulness. Whereas, that? <laughs> yeah, no, you're absolutely right. So that's like the odd number tactic. Yeah. yeah. So absolutely, the odder the number in many ways, the more credible it can be, all right? But it's also interesting to practice that. So do you practice with an odd number right from the bat, from the start, or do you move to an odd number? Um, and there's lots of different ways that that can have an impact on you. So for example, if you were to put in a very high number that's way outside the range as a form of anchor and you use it as an odd number, you lose the impetus there because you, there's no way you can bring it down or you can, but it's a, it's a thing to think about, something to practice for sure. I like it, yeah, no, definitely. So I, I'm gonna give a little bit of feedback as well as to what I saw, okay? So if I just talk this through, um, so we kind of went straight into there and Aaliyah was like, well, how much per ton, okay? Um, and Tanishka, it was like, okay, how much, per ton? I tell you what, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about me, okay? So let's tell you about me, okay? Uh, we're organic. It's hand-picked, it's eco-friendly, no environmental sort of hand, you know, footprint. It's a community, you know. Um, so dare I say it, you're building up the expectations for a very sort of eco-friendly system, okay? Now, I don't know whether this might be the thing, but I know that we sometimes associate a higher cost with that type of products as well. So again, it's almost like a conditioning. We're conditioning you to think, well, if you want hand-picked, you know, hand-polished apples, then we can expect a higher price. So it might be a form of conditioning you're doing there. And then you end up with what type of apples you want, okay? And interestingly enough, Leah kind of heard that, but then started talking about, you know, well, since lockdown, and we're talking about, you know, why before the what, you say. So we've had lockdown. I've started a new business. I've started to cook, make apple pies, etc. cetera. It's done really well actually if i can get a good deal you know i want to do this beyond the lockdown all right so i'd be thinking all right 
possible long-term arrangements here as well. So that might be something to bank and think about, okay, add to the negotiation at a later point. Okay, so how can I tie in this customer for longer? So that might be an option as well. Um, um, and then again, so repeating, well, what type of apples do you want? I think we've got green ones in the end, cooking apples. Okay, absolutely fine. Um, Janishka, yeah, we can do that. Yeah, um, uh, we can do one ton. Then you put the first price down. Now I'm gonna show you what you had on your cards. Now forget the tactics bit, more importantly, these are the numbers you had, okay? There's a very high range. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I literally am shuffling the deck, so I don't know what's coming out, okay? But in this particular, that zone of possible agreement, that Zopa was really quite wide, okay? All right? And there was an impact on that. Because you said some... So, Tanishka, it was, well, we're looking at something around 700, all right? Now, again, my advice there is a bit of soft language at the beginning. We're looking at around. All right, so you're already asking for pushback on that. And Fred's absolutely right. Nice, beautiful round number, 700, okay? So the important thing is, I am immediately gonna be able to say whether that's inside or outside that, okay? All right, and I know it's well inside it, okay? Massively important moment in any negotiation. So eyes up, looking at the other party. We want to read the reaction as best as we possibly can at this moment. And Aaliyah's at reaction was, not a great pushback from a non-verbal perspective. So it was kind of like just taking it in easily, all right, and thinking, oh, okay, I'm all right here, 700 quid. All right, I'm actually doing okay here, all right. And another then giveaway, all right, because what you then started talking about, Leah, was does this include delivery? All right. So you've had 700, so no pushback on the numbers. In fact, now you're trying to clarify what you get for the 700. So, is delivery included? Janishi, yes. Uh, what's the delivery time period? Uh, five to seven days. So if you imagine that 700 is now staying on the table for longer, partly because you're thinking, well, how do I push that down anymore? Because actually I'm getting a good deal. So, um, and then you say, well, I was, uh, I was, and this is another bit of soft language. I was hoping more around the 500 mark. Now, again, I'm looking at Tanishka's response here because 500 is well inside this. And again, this was a huge Zopa, all right? But 500 is well inside. And again, no nonverbal pushback, Tanishka. You heard it, 500, a nice round number. And you see how 700, 500, it's easy to pick numbers when it's so like that. If it was 738 pound, it'd be a lot harder to think, well, what am I going to come out of that, okay? And I, I noticed that Tanishka nodding, no reaction. And then you wanted to clarify up earlier, you know, we're looking for loyalty, um, longer customer, you know, 500 pound. And then you added another point. You said, how does that sound? Or something along those lines, okay? Now for me, I'm always wary when people say, you know, is that okay? Is that within budget? How does that sound to you, okay? If you are gonna say that, be prepared to have a well-prepared response along the lines of, we just can't do that. It's just way out of our expectations. You know, our 700 is more than reasonable. In fact, you know, da, 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 okay? So be careful, caveat. Just put your numbers down. And then we had Tanishka, 500. Here we go. It's a bit too low. It's not really low. It's just a bit. I'm looking out for these little words. You know, it's a little bit out of our range. You know, can we go down a little bit more? That tends to suggest that either it's already acceptable or genuinely it's not far out. And along with the no reaction, I'd be saying, mm, looks like it's an acceptable position. Uh, it's a little bit, uh, a little bit too low. Um, uh, you know, 580 uh, with delivery, but, and then you try to caveat it with two orders. We want two orders. And then it kind of went through. And ultimately you've got a, an agreement in the end. And then actually you did exactly what you need to do at the end, which is to kind of summarize. Okay, well, let's make sure that we're all in agreement with what we've done. And then you did a summarizing tactic as well. Yeah. Fred, any, anything else that you could probably expand on maybe on that point? Cause you've got a, you've got a, a different perspective. Yeah. I mean, <clears throat> what, what I saw was that they very much, they wanted to do a deal. 
and so they they set up it was a nice feeling to the negotiation they wanted to do business so there wasn't there was no kind of contrary there wasn't going to be a fight and so they were nice all the way through and and that that's a good thing because we are trying to get a win-win at the end of the day but as you say then it kind of went into a little bit of sort of softness or just easiness and i think if that's what you think you might do the easy thing what i would coach people is that when you get the offer just say no literally first thing just prepare yourself practice yourself to do that which is hard because you're like oh that's really good <laughs> oh no that's all you've got to say nothing else so you make your own life easy then back to you and again this is just a game this because then what i'd say is to the person who just had no talk to them just repeat what you've said <laughs> okay so it sounds like that's wasting time it's not though what that's done is both you've gone we both know how to negotiate here don't we right okay fair play we know what we're gonna have to do we're gonna have to get into some trading we're gonna be unpacking this repacking it and thinking about it or other scenario is somebody goes no oh okay then what about 500 no oh what about <laughs> So just by saying no, you can get quite a lot. It's just such an easy thing to train yourself to do. Yeah, it, uh, you know that's one of my favourites anyway, Phil, don't you? <laughs> no, no, you're, you're absolutely right. It, it's it's sometimes we find it difficult to say no. It, it's amazing. I mean, you know, I mean, Tanishka and Elia are nodding heads here. I mean, you know, when we've been doing it a while, it's a bit easier for us to just say no. What you'll often see is that, okay, I'm going to start saying no. You say no, but then you end up justifying why you're saying no. You know, and that can dig yourself a hole. And the whole point is exactly what Fred's saying is get to get to the comfort factor of just being able to say no. And well you hit oh sorry, are you here you seven hundred and you're thinking, excellent. No. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> your body, your body you're language. nodding, but saying no, guess where I'm going with that? <laughs> you're happy really. No, that's what it is. <laughs> that's what we have to do it for. And, and the more you said, this is the other thing, okay, is that obviously, uh, Leah, you had over a thousand pound as a, you know, as a, uh, a budget, so to speak. And when you had the 700, in your own head, you're already anchored to your thousand. You're already biased to thinking, well, okay, anything under a thousand, I'm okay with. And the further away from that, the harder it is. But you've got to remember in a negotiation, it's not your number you're negotiating. It's the other parties. It's always the other parties, right? Isn't it? They're not, going to, they're not going to agree something that is unacceptable to them, unless they're really bad. But it's going to be a hard negotiation. If it's easy, and this was a very nice negotiation, partly because your Zopa was so big and you were in the middle there, I can guarantee you if one of you had uh, it was outside, it might not have been quite so nice. But yeah. Tanishka, any thoughts from you? Well, I think, I think you've covered everything. <laughs> there's, there's nothing else to add to it. Oh, yeah. uh, Anything you might practice yourself? No, I was going to say, you both did something very well. I don't know if you realise how well you did this, because it's quite a hard thing to do. Do you know what it was? You looked at each other really well. Well, I'm assuming it was each other and you weren't looking at yourself. Um, <laughs> because, no, no, I say that in jest, but it's a really important thing. So with this, when you're getting numbers and stuff, it's very easy to get right down into writing things and you're missing what's going on. So I was looking at you and you were both very much looking at the screen. Yeah. So I'm hoping that you were looking at the other person. Because this is a new thing for when we're doing this stuff online, because you can't look at yourself when you face to face. But of course, when you're online, there you are next to the other person. Oh, don't I look good? And look at my funky background. And look, oh, sorry, what were you doing? So it is a skill, but from what I saw, it looked as though you were really concentrating on what the other person was doing, or at least giving that impression, which is also important. Yeah. So when you look that's... back, you'll see yourself, so you did look very good from that point of view. You weren't writing a lot, and you weren't kind of getting distracted and stuff, so well done on that one. Um, something that we were kind of told in competitions was, with everything going online, the worst thing to be doing is looking down and taking notes we all kind of ended up taking notes on our screens so we could kind of switch between looking at the person and our notes but in the same direction which I think with everything being online at the minute is quite important to do. <laughs> Cracking piece of advice where you got that from yeah very good. 
<laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, any final any final thoughts from you, Leah? Um, I was going to say when um, in the cohort I was in last year, there was a girl, and no matter kind of what her number was she always went extremely like one way and she always managed to get a really good deal because of it so like if it was in our negotiation I should have said like no I want like a hundred pounds like she'd always go very dramatic and I always used to think I really need to remember to do that but as soon as a nice number's given I it just goes from my mind and like oh well that's fine <laughs> it, it is a tough thing to do but the the, the the light at the end of the tunnel is you can practice it, right? So, but I can tell you now, you're very nice people, which means that it's going to feel kind of awkward to do that. But this is a process, right? Um, uh, and if you'd have gone at the hundred, you know what? Like, these cards don't often come out that kind of wide, wide range, but hundred is not overly far away from that. And I would hazard a guess you might have had agreement in three or four hundreds there. Yeah, um, but that's the whole point. We can do the cards again. We can have another go, <laughs> but not tonight. Okay. So anyway, that's it. Thank you so much. And those of you who are watching, obviously, we haven't had a chance to review the video to go over it. It is literally what we're observing at this moment. So you need to think about that. You're watching the negotiation. If you can capture everything like that and think about it in your own negotiations, then you're in a really good position. If not, go back, watch the videos, see if you can pick everything up again, okay? I would like to thank Fred. Thank you so much. Guest observer, number one. Okay. Oh, thank Hopefully. you, thank, thank you for me. I enjoyed it, it was good. And thank you guys for, uh, well, you're probably doing that anyway. <laughs> no, that's all right, slightly different, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Aaliyah, thank you so much as well. All right, you need to keep on practicing. And Tanishka knows her electronics because she's already doing the hand clapping at the top there. So thank you all so much. Do keep practicing. Uh, and obviously, we'll catch up again soon. Thank you.